there, this is Mrs. Austin, and I'm back again with another exciting math video. This one is on composition of functions. Now I want to thank the good people at Blizzard Entertainment for our background today. That's Diablo 3, and we're slaughtering some Nephilim out in the living room in case you're interested. So, composition of functions is actually really important in mathematics and in um, many applications of mathematics because it allows us to put functions together in ways that <coughs> give us the opportunity to use the answer from one step, put it into the next step, and recalculate all without having to go through all those steps. So if you think of your GPS and it gets lost, it's like recalculating, recalculating, well, composition of functions is like if your GPS figures it out right the first time, and you're not stuck with that annoying commentary. So, composition of functions can be notated in one of two ways. We can see this, f parentheses g parentheses x, with two closed parentheses, or you can see parentheses f, this little open circle, g, closed parentheses, and then x in parentheses. A reminder to all of you, that this x in parentheses is not meaning that you multiply by x, it's meaning that that's the variable, the input variable for the function. Ooh. How do we read it? We read f of g of x. So if I read this, I say f of g of x. If I read this, I say f of g of x. And again, we're going to put two functions together and get a new one. Honestly, this is like the fancy way of doing some things that we've done before. So here's our first example. f of x equals 3x minus 2. g of x equals 2x plus 5. Both of these functions have a domain of negative infinity to positive infinity. So, pretty easy to work with. I'm going to start by rewriting this statement f of g of x to use parentheses. And my first step after rewriting is going to be to substitute. So I'm going to replace the g of x statement with the formula for g of x. This means that I'm going to evaluate f of 2x plus 5. Now this is what I was talking about when I say, hey, this is the fancy name for something you've done before. Because in class, we have previously evaluated f of 2x plus 5 and other similar expressions. This expression will replace x in the f of x function. So I'll rewrite f of x with 2x plus 5 replacing this letter x. So now I have 3 times the quantity 2x plus 5, there's that g function, minus 2. One thing that I've seen a lot too much on testing quizzes recently is people forgetting the distributive property. People, the distributive property, you've known it since like middle school. Let's remember, everything inside the parentheses gets multiplied by 3. So now I have 6x plus 15 minus 2. When I simplify this, I get my new function, f of g of x. And that is 6x plus 13. What this tells me is that if I wanted to take a value for x, plug it into the g function, get an answer, plug that answer into the f function and get my final answer, there's an easier way to do it. Instead of going through all of these steps, I could just multiply by number by 6 and add 13. Now we're going to work with the same functions, but we're going to reverse the order. We know many operations, like addition and multiplication, 
work the same and give the same result if you switch the order. Is this true of composition? Well, now I'm going to check by finding g of f of x. So again, I'm going to rewrite so that it's clearer. Not a step you have to take, but one that I strongly recommend. Then I'm going to replace f of x with the f of x function. So I'm going to substitute. So I'm going to have g of 3x minus 2. Again, this 3x minus 2 replaces x in my formula for g. So when I write 2x plus 5, I'm going to write 2 times the quantity 3x minus 2 plus 5. All right, so I'm seeing this 6x minus 4 plus 5. So using the distributive property. Well, now I find out that g of f of x is 6x plus 1. If you were paying attention in the last slide, f of g of x was 6x plus 13. So this tells me that the order matters in composition. That is, it matters which formula I use first. If I start out with g of x, I get one answer. If I start out with f of x, I get a different answer. And this is true for nearly all compositions of functions. In my video on inverses, we'll find out about that one special case where it is different. Now the big thing I want you to worry about here, okay, I don't want you to worry too much, but like division of functions, and like addition, subtraction, and multiplication on some special cases of functions, we sometimes have to worry about the domain when it comes to composition. So here's a radical function. <coughs> this radical function, if I were to determine the domain, it would turn out to be f, um, I'm sorry, x needs to be greater than or equal to 7 over 2 or f needs to be greater than or equal to 3.5. Any smaller values, I'll get a negative sign under this, and that won't be good. On the other hand, this function is negative infinity to positive infinity. So what would my new function look like when I do the composition? Let's find out. Again, I rewrite f of g of x. Next, I write f of 3x plus 5. Substituting this in, I get 2 times 3x plus 5 minus 7. And with some simplification, I'm not going to go through the whole distributive property here, I get the square root of 6x plus 3. Well, if I were to find the domain of this function, this domain is going to be from negative one-half to positive infinity. That's a lot different than this domain. Like, I can put one, two, I can't put in one and two here. So, composition has changed the domain from both of my original functions. And again, I can go the other way, g of f of x. And then I would have g of the square root of 2x minus 7. Now, sadly, there's not a whole lot we can do here. I can do 3 times the square root of 2x minus 7 plus 5, but this is pretty much the answer that I'm going to get. I cannot distribute the 3 inside the square root sign and get 6x minus 21 under the square root sign, so I'm stuck with this as my final answer, which is a mess. It's something I wouldn't really want to graph, but that's what it is. And, even weirder, 
Note, the domain of this is the same as the domain of my f of x function. It is 3.5 to infinity. Totally different from my other composition. Yet another way in which composition is different. Um, depending upon the order in which we compose the functions. So, just a reminder to you, composition may result in a function with a totally new domain. Please be careful when working with radicals and rationals. Um, that is, especially square root sign and something that has x in the denominator. I do want to remind you, though, that composition is something that you've done before and you've been successful with. It's just substituting a variable or an expression in place of x in order to be able to obtain a new function. Thanks so much, and if you think my description was not so great for this, I hope you'll make your own video and share it with me. Have a great night.